How to upgrade the PowerVault ME4 controller firmware. To download the controller firmware file, we must first navigate to the Dell support site at dell.com forward slash support. Once you've navigated to the page, you can find your system by entering your product service tag in this box. If you don't have your service tag to hand, you can manually search by clicking Browse All Products. Look in this list for storage. For the ME4 system, click on Entry Level and Mid Range, then select Power Vault, and then ME Series. And for this example, we'll select the ME4012 system. Here we'll select Drivers and Downloads. I then look for the storage controller firmware. Once you've found it, click on download. This will download the zip file to your local machine. Before applying the firmware update, open an SSH session to either of the ME4 controller management IPs and perform the pre-firmware upgrade health check with the following command. If everything passes OK, you will get the message pass. There are no risks and you can continue with the upgrade. If for any reason you get a fail on this test and you can't resolve the highlighted issue yourself, then you should contact us on one of our technical support channels for assistance. Assuming everything passes OK, we'll continue by connecting to the ME4 storage manager. It's recommended to clear your web cache before logging in. A quick way to do this on Windows is Control, Shift and Delete with the browser open. In this example, we're using a default controller IP. Log on to the storage manager using the username and password you set up while installing the machine. Once logged in, we recommend saving a copy of the system logs in case we need them in future. Once that's done, click on the System tab on the left of the menu and then select Action and Update Firmware. Here we can see the current version that's installed and the Choose File box to source the .bin file we downloaded earlier. You should also see this option for Partner Firmware. This is to ensure that the same firmware version is installed in both controller modules. Select the Choose File box and source your downloaded file and click on OK to begin the firmware update. Another dialog box will appear displaying the progress of the firmware update stages. The controller will reboot to complete the update. The partner controller will reboot first, and when its update is complete, the host initiators can resume I.O. The controller that you logged into will now reboot. Once the update is complete, clear your web cache before logging back into the storage manager. Save another log file and then navigate back to Update Firmware to check the version has been updated successfully. If the firmware hasn't updated successfully or both the values are different, you can contact us for technical support. There is a link in the description for a full in-depth guide to this process. And that's it. For more information on this topic, check out the links in the description below and check out our other videos for more useful hints and tutorials. Thanks for watching.